Hey turtle nerds, check out this incredible 300 gallon turtle pond that I built to house some ornate diamondback terrapin. Check it out. So this is a 300 gallon stock tank made by Rubbermaid. I paid a dude 20 bucks to deliver this from my nearest tractor supply. And then also I have this bamboo fencing from Home Depot that I cut like a foot off of the top because it was a little tall. This is the area that I'm gonna be putting this 300 gallon turtle pond. Also, it's very important that you stabilize the thing. Make sure it's even, make sure it's not super duper locked. Sided. So I put some granite pieces down at the bottom and here we can see it, you know, I'm gonna zip tie the fence onto the darn thing and it's actually looking pretty good. Here you can see why I should have doubled it up. I've also got clips on so I can easily, you know, pull it off and kind of peel it back and look at and have access to the turtles in there. So for a little bit of context, this pond was basically done and I recently had gotten three ornate diamondback terrapins from a very good friend of mine. Two of them are known as long-term captives, meaning originally they were wild caught, which of course we do not support. However, they were technically legally obtained. Still not good though. Basically, they'd been adapted to captivity and the female had some insane shell rot that was uh, healed. You can see it. It's all white and looks like her shell is fused back together. Because they came from the south, they're definitely used to a warmer climate. And so after I'd already put them in here, they had adjusted. We had 70 degree weather here. It was beautiful in South Carolina. All of a sudden this happened. I mean, consider this guys. Look at this. Take a look. 51 degrees out today and it's going to be freaking 26 tonight, 47, 38. Why is that happening? So to combat the poor choice in weather by the Lord himself, this thing is way bigger than I remember for whatever reason. I have this 75 gallon tough stuff stock tank. I said that right for the first time in my life. It's in the garage. I'm gonna cover it with some towels because these terrapins are not gonna be happy. I just had them acclimated outside and now it's freaking, it's cold. To avoid stressing out the critters, I'm gonna put this blanket here so they could just hide underneath in the shade. And also the water's way too warm, so I gotta cool it down. If only there was some invention that would allow me to cool down the- Ice, ice exists, I forgot. There we go, that should cool it down just enough and then it'll get to like room temperature-ish. Should be fine. Bravo six going dark. Ah, I can't film out here, it's dark and, and stuff. So I'll be back with turtles, bye. Look at this, look at this, look at this. My net, my thing is all busted. Oh yeah, look, we got some unhappy campers there. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here, isn't that nice and warm comparatively? How are you, are you okay? Yes, I'm sorry friends. Here we go. This should be much better. All right, relax now, you're safe. So yes, I needed to put those terrapins inside so that way it would stay nice and warm because I didn't want to subject them to super, super cold temperatures that they were not used to, especially animals that were wild where they would almost never get those temperatures in their natural range. Captive bred animals are a little bit hardier so they could take it, but I didn't want to have to put them through that when they're already moving locations. So I found that the ornates, actually we've got some long-term captives, two of them, a male and a female, and a captive bred female, that's the white one, as well as a rescue female. A lot of them are going to some friends of mine just so I can focus on getting some of the ornates out of the main pond into here. Regardless, I'm looking forward to adding fish. These plants are going to grow in. These plants came from that upper bog from my main pond. I'm also going to be adding a nesting box, a small nesting area right here because I know that the ornates sometimes like the sand. Look at that fella there. Look at that face. They are really comfortable in and throughout these reeds. That's why I'm really happy that I added this plant here. Overall, I'm really looking forward to getting some different critters in here getting this whole thing cycled. This pond is suffering from new tank syndrome where it's basically the filter is still colonizing a bunch of bacteria. So the water's gonna turn into pea soup probably for a couple of weeks. And then once the plants grow in and the filter is running and established, it'll probably be crystal friggin' clear. And we'll have some nice, happy, and healthy turtles regardless. Hi, dragon fruit, hi, crush. To get early access to my videos, stuff a day early, merch, all that fun stuff, please consider hitting the link in the top right hand corner and heading over to my Patreon. It is egg season, very, very, very soon and if all goes well these girls will be giving me lots and lots of eggs so if you're interested in getting some critters that look like these any of these beautiful animals that I have definitely consider hitting the link up there and heading over to the patreon hi everyone they're all coming on land despite the food in the water these guys are absolutely nuts so guys this pond is not fully fully complete yet yes it's got animals in it it's got a nice basking spot it's got a filter if you want to watch how I built that filter hit the link right up over here but it's certainly not finished and so if you want want to stay updated with how things go with this pond, please hit the subscribe button and I will see y'all in the next one.